What's up, everyone? How you guys and gals doing? Welcome to this edition of Insane Throttle. What's up? What's up? What's up? Uh, today, got a couple things in the news for you. Yeah, doing a little bit of news for you lately. So I have been listening to the comments and stuff. We're going to be talking about the Thug Riders, baby. Also, we're going to be talking about the Mongols and the Hells Angels. A lot of stuff going on right now. Stay tuned. Ride or die, 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 ride or die fly. Know that they ride or die. Cody, but it's my guys. Know that they fly. Know that they ride or die. I keep going. Okay, first we're going to talk about the uh, Thug Riders. It looks like uh, out of 12 news, this was by Grace Bellingson. Uh, a Thug Riders Biker Club member arrested for cocaine and a weapon in Tampa. I, I can't believe they didn't say motorcycle gang. Holy cow. Uh, anyway, 45-year-old Thug Riders Motorcycle Club member has been accused of drug and weapon-related charges after a stop near Nebraska Avenue in Tampa. The first thing that comes to mind to me is, man, you're 45 years old. Is it really worth going down this path when you'd probably be looking at 10 to 20 on something like this, depending on how good your defense is? But down in Florida, man, they ain't playing with you. They ain't going to play with you down there. Uh, so what, you're going to be like 60 before you get out? Not cool, man. Whoa, and this one throws up uh, some additional time for you. Aaron Meniz is a convicted felon with a history of drug-related charges and a suspended license. Not the best thing to do, drive in with a suspended license. Uh, the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office stated that during the investigation, deputies located a loaded firearm and, uh, you know, a felon firearm. Yeah, you're toast, dude, at 45 years old. A knife, five spa, uh, small bags of cocaine, so they're probably going to get you for distribution. And metallic knuckles in the vest. It goes on to say, our deputies' attention to detail and quick response have once again removed a dangerous individual along with illegal drugs from our community. Uh, each traffic stop is an opportunity to make our roads and neighborhoods safer. And the deputies accuse Menez of two counts of felon in possession of a firearm, uh, armed possession of cocaine with intent to sell. There's the intent or deliver driving on a suspended license and resisting an officer without violence. Not the smartest cookie in the jar, is he? uh suspended license and driving that just does not make sense to me so looking at some hardcore time right there uh looks like he got uh, beat up or something man i don't know man you look at that picture anyway going over to uh looks like new zealand here and we covered it last week about the Mongols having their gathering and stuff. And I guess the arrest rise the 30 as police continue clamp down on Mongols gang. Now, you got to remember, everything that comes out of New Zealand and out of Australia, they're going to be using the word gang. And this was of November 9th, 2024. And it looks like uh, police have made further arrests and seized firearms in Canterbury, as they continue to put pressure on gang members in the region. Yes, seize firearms. If you know Australia and New Zealand laws, as well as Canada, man, they'll get you for anything, man. That thing to be made in 1850, and they'll still get you for it. Five further arrests have been made to bring the total to 30 during this weekend's operations. Uh, the Mongols Motorcycle Club held its fifth anniversary celebrations in Christchurch, this weekend and police wanted to make their present known it looks like they did uh with officers at various locations the majority of attendees who traveled from out of district are leaving and police have increased present on the roads and at the airport looks like they are going to give them hell all the way out to the airport that's messed up uh five arrests were made that brings the total number of arrests this week to 30 including patch mongols gang members associates and people not associated to the mongos 
previously sought by the police. At least they didn't come out with the article say 30 Muggles were arrested. No, it is said in its count. Uh, just some uh, Muggles, uh, members and associates and all that stuff. Now, it goes on to say a cannabis cultivation operation. I'm sorry, man. Worldwide, start legalizing the bud, man. You know, legalize the bud is what I say. Was located at a search warrant executed in Irania this weekend. And inquiries are ongoing in relation to a second warrant it executed. Sawed off shotgun and three uh air rifles were located damn man they even getting you on air rifles now man they just don't let up now out of uh here's some news on a hell's angel was just jailed six years for drug trafficking uh lengthy investigation centered on identifying and dismantling highly organized vancouver island Drug trafficking was aided by no other than an informant and undercover police operation. William Carl Paulson, 53, was jailed for six years, meaning, uh, let's see here, six years into your 60s, man. Ugh. In a federal penitentiary on Thursday at BC Supreme Court. Uh, Paulson May 2020 arrest at Campbell. I'm wondering if they gave him four years since he or if he was out on bail. That'd be interesting to find out. Following an arduous multi-partner investigation in which police believe the Hells Angels Motorcycle Club uh, intended to expand its presence on Vancouver Island. Paulson, who had limited and a dated their criminal record, was confirmed by police to be trafficking in cocaine. I uh, believe roughly two ounces in a kilogram over the course of several months begin, beginning in September 2019. And then it goes on to say several damning informant captured recordings. Yes, you never know when you're going to be recorded, especially nowadays, man. Uh, with all the technology and stuff, hard to find that stuff. In Campbell River clearly demonstrated his direct involvement in brisk and ongoing drug trafficking. And it goes on to say with a quote, I gather from the ex uh, excerpts of intercepted recordings that I've just heard that you've been in the racket for quite a while, Mr. Paulson. I suspect you known all along that something like this could happen. And maybe you thought you'd be one of the lucky ones who never got caught. You know, the, you know, man, they just rubbing it in on them right there, man. <laughs> Holy cow. Uh, but anyway, that is some of the news going on in the biker community right now. Club community. I couldn't find any good stories out there. A lot of them, if you did. It was, oh, you got to pay. You got to subscribe. All these places are going to that deal or won't let you see the article when you put on an ad blocker and a million of damn ads come on. Anyway, you can also get some trucking news. Yes, I'm going to be doing that because a lot of our subscribers are in the trucking industry. So we're going to do a separate playlist for that so you guys can all see that who are trucking. Get to know what's going out there. Uh, you know, there's going to be one. My first one in trucking news is going to be uh, three reasons why a Trump victory is good for truck drivers. And it's actually going to be out tomorrow. Or if you're rewatching this video, it should be out already. Don't forget to go over to Amazon, get Brotherhood and Betrayal. I appreciate it, Rock On. Well, is an in-depth look at the trials and tribulations of street gang and motorcycle club life. This isn't the run-of-the-mill book that doesn't give the goods. This book will go into detail of events that actually happened. All materials in this book have been approved by those involved. There is nothing poetic, nor is there any price worth paying for the life we choose to live on the streets. James Hollywood Machikari. Brotherhood and Betrayal. Check out the Madhouse Morning Show, hosted by me, James Hollywood Machikari, co-hosted by the lovely China Dow, uncensored and non-politically correct. Join us as we cover everything from breaking news, politics, and everything else under the sun. The Morning Madhouse streams live on Rumble, X, and YouTube. So join the conversation and give a show a follow. See you then. Right.